Hello folks, I'm Coach Comprido, and today I have some questions about how I run my academy. So here, my classes, they run for 45 minutes. And the reason why is a regular class normally takes an hour and a half. But sometimes people are working and they, they have to arrive late or they have stuff to do and they have to leave early. So I break my class on this way. So the first 45 minutes is warm up and drills and the second 45 minutes is sparring. So on this way, my students can get for just one part of the class and also for, for one set of 44, 45 minutes and don't feel bad to interrupt the class. What is very disturbing. <laughs> but uh, when, I, when I start my class, I do very little exercise, okay? I like to do drills a lot. I think that, you know, exercises for warm up uh, are okay. I have no problem, that's the way I learn. But then when I, I went to the college and, and to do physical education, and then I have this, this coach that is this teacher of uh, running, and then said, uh, like, why do you do push-ups as a warm-up if you're gonna run? You have to do running warm-ups. And, and that's what they do on Jiu-Jitsu. You know, I'm gonna do hip scapes, I'm gonna do uh, hip takedowns, I'm gonna do technical standing, I'm gonna do knee slides, I'm gonna do movements that we use on jiu-jitsu because that's a way to learn without really uh, 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 thinking about it. You know, you're just doing some exercise and then on the moment that I, I teach the technique itself, that's the moment that the students is really focused and try to, to learn and to understand the technique. But the beginning of the class, when you're doing this, these drills, you're doing that, you know, on the, almost automatically, you know, and this is gonna improve your technique. So first 45 minutes drills and techniques, second 45 minutes is the sparring part. Man, I was really lucky uh, with my instructors. You know, I, have, I had uh, Escobar working with me for a, for a while and, and then I had Marcelo, who, you know, those guys are, I know them since I was a kid. And then I have few instructors who, who are my students and who show a lot of interest to teaching, a lot of passion for teaching, and they, they do a great job. So I, I get these people to work with me. You know, Adidia is an outstanding instructor. He was a personal training before becoming an instructor, so he does really well. He knows what he's doing. Jason, man, he's great with the kids you know every kid love him and and he's a guy who have ideas who is always happy always uh thinking about new things and then you know jessica every time she step on the mat she has a lot to add as well you know on top to be a great uh, uh competitor she's very very good uh explaining stuff so i'm a lucky person i'm lucky enough that i have uh th these people working with me that are all my students, you know, like, of course, Marcelo and, and Schobar are not my students, but they have the same view on Jiu-Jitsu that I have. We do stuff different with technique, but we see Jiu-Jitsu the same way, you know, so I, I am very happy that I have these people working with me. Yeah, and that depends, you know, when you have a lot of beginners, you're gonna need more help. When your, your students are a little bit more advanced, you you need less if you have a mixed class we always try to match an advanced student with beginner student you know but the, like i teach seminars for a lot of people but i i guess like 30 students is is easy to do you know 15 pairs is easy to do on a kids class you have to have that uh element of fun yeah, for adults as well you know but especially for kids you know it cannot be something super strict you do want to have them understanding to follow the commands and to respect people and stuff but you have to give some some space for for them to have fun you know play some games that are related to jiu-jitsu so it's a little bit first of all the classes is smaller 
you know, it's shorter uh, than the adult class for kids. It's just 45 minutes. For adults, it's two class of 45 minutes. And then the kids is, is this part of having fun on the same time that you're learning Jiu Jitsu. For all adults, the, the social part is very interesting, you know, like let them make friends and and meet each other, but then it's a little bit more serious, a little bit more, you know, fast. For the kids, we spend a little bit more time explaining stuff. For adults, they can understand a little bit better, so some, <laughs> they can understand better, so we can push a little bit harder and faster. I think the, it's very important that everybody who comes on the gym and training on those mats, that's the same place that I put my face every day when I was working and when I was having fun and when I was training. We have to have the mats clean all the time. That's the reason I have white mats, because a thing that I noticed on the past is a lot of blood going to the mats and then on the white mats we can clean right away. And I also have the vinyl because the water doesn't go inside the mats and get stuck in the air, so it's much easier to clean. We make sure we spray, especially now, we spray after every class. We have a bunch of air filters on the gym. I have a ozone machine that I run a little bit every night. You know, we have a, the cleaning lady who comes here and, 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 and help. And then we try to, you know, make sure everybody always come clean and organize and keep the trash on the trash, not on the mat. I roll with my students every day. Obviously, sometimes I'm focusing competition and then I pick the training partners that makes more sense to help me to achieve uh, my goal. But uh, I like to roll with my students, you know, I think it's, it's nice. I, I like to roll with them and I like to compete with them. I like to show them that I, I do everything that I ask them to do, you know. Man, belt promotion is, is, is something that comes with knowledge, you know. It's not about you come here for 18 classes and you get a stripe and then you do for some, some more time and, and get a belt. The way we do stuff here is when we believe the student is ready for the next belt, then we apply a belt test, you know, and then honestly, I. I do not expect any of my students to fail the belt test because they, we only allow them to do when we, believe, when we believe they are ready for, you know? So it's not such a thing. I move really fast on, on my belts, you know? I get to, to the black belt in a little bit over five years. But I was training twice a day. I was competing every single tournament. I was winning the major tournaments, you know? And I have students who, who are blue belts for five years but they come very little, they have injuries, you know, each, each person is different. It's not a formula for everybody, you know, some people are older, some people are younger, some people put more time, some people learn faster, some people learn slower, you know, so, but I always make sure that if my student gonna get a belt, he deserves that belt, you know, belts are not uh, currents for trade on my academy, you know, belt, the only thing that you should to do to get a new belt is show that you improve and then you learn. That's it, nothing else. I think private lessons are very beneficial to everybody. It's a way to adjust your game, you know, to, to, to have your, your questions answered in a much deeper, deeper way. Because everybody is always free to ask questions when we are showing technique. But when you're doing a private class, you have 100% of the attention to the instructor and you can go a little bit deeper uh, into each technique. That being said, you should not switch group classes for private classes. You know, it's fundamental for, even for the coach, for me to, to understand what you do right and wrong, I need to see you training with somebody on the same level than you, with the same size than you, you know, with the same skills than you, a little bit, more advanced, a little bit less advanced. So this help us to figure out what to do. You know, you're only training with me during the private classes. I'm, I'm delaying my motion because I want you to do a technique, you know? I'm 
anticipating what you're gonna do because I'm the one who teach you every single movement. So I already know what you're gonna do. So it's very important, private classes are awesome. I strongly recommend, but keep doing the group classes. That's very, very important. Folks, thank you. You guys are great. Uh, my mom and my father are so happy that you always send kisses to them. Like, subscribe. See you soon.